2010, a group of Georgia Southern students realized their dream of giving back to the Bullock County community by starting a free medical clinic for adults in Bullock County without health insurance. It basically started with about four or five medical or people that want to go in the health field wanting to give back to Bullock County and that was Andres's dream of the clinic and I think he has fulfilled that because it definitely helped out a lot. We basically provide primary health care access for citizens of our county that need it most. Um, you know, a lot of people in the state of Georgia struggle with having health insurance. They don't have any type of insurance or they can't afford to see the doctor. So we provide primary health care access for those citizens. And we're able to go through screen applicants and see um, which ones need to see the doctor and get them in to be treated. The poverty rate in the state of Georgia is 18%. In Bullock County, it's nearly double, at 34%. A quarter of the residents of Bullock County are medically uninsured. And that's where the Hearts and Hands Clinic comes in. When I first started coming in, like the first time I came, it was after an emergency room visit and I didn't have insurance. And I was having panic attacks, like they diagnosed me with a panic disorder. So I started coming here just, you know, to see what what could be done to help because I didn't, I didn't have any health insurance, any insurance whatsoever. It took a toll on us when, um, when it really, when all the gas prices started going skyrocketing high, and um, I lost my son, mm. and just everything went downhill from there. I didn't have hope at that point in time, but coming here, like I've been doing better, I haven't had any more anxiety attacks if I do. I know what to do to handle it. I get the medication I need. I get the help I need. I get the information I need. It's like the people here, they actually care. They really they really do care. Like, Ms. Ann will call me herself and just check on me, see how I'm doing personally. And it feels good to know that, you know, people actually care like that when they don't have to. You know, there's a lot of hope in this clinic. There's a lot of good people here that will help you any way they can. Nobody's ever been ugly. I've always had nice things, and when I leave here, I feel a lot better, you know, just knowing that there's somebody here that does care. If it hadn't been for this clinic, you know, I probably wouldn't be here today to be able to tell somebody else about it. There's help out there for people who need help, and this is the place to come if you really need help, because these people care, like they care. definitely a need for people who otherwise from a financial standpoint would not be able to have access to care and there was definitely a void there you know I need to get new shoes for my kid or I've got to get a meals for this week I think I'll just not go to the doctor even though I need my refills on my cholesterol and my diabetes and my you know my you know uh, my hypertension medications they're having to make those choices and so I think this gives that group of people and an opportunity to say, okay, maybe I don't have to sacrifice my own health for these other things that I need, and it gives them that resource. Sometimes it's the simplest things that makes the biggest difference. I mean, it could be somebody that needs cataract surgery, and then so we work with them to get the cataract surgery done. But it can also be somebody that just has trouble reading. But that can make as big a difference as, as the least little thing or the biggest surgery or whatever. When they can't do their job because they can't see up close to read. Now, all of a sudden, you know, through you guys, we've been able to put them in some glasses where they can just see to do their up close stuff. They can work on their computer again. They can read. They can file stuff. So now they can go back to doing what they're doing without having to, you know, to worry about that. And There's a lot of need because with the finances that people have, people out of work. An important thing to realize is that these folks, they're the working poor. Or, or even worse, they're the non-working poor. I've seen many people who had good factory jobs when the factories have closed. And when the factories close, their insurance and their income goes out the door. And it's not too long before they find themselves in a situation that they never ever thought they would find. We know that there are people out there, even if, even if what we're doing is sitting down and going over their medications 
refilling their medicines and doing their lab work, that's more than they were able to get done otherwise. If we can help even a little bit, even a few people, I think it makes a difference. You know, it adds to their flexibility on what they what they can do, and it gives them more confidence too. And whenever a person's more confident, they feel better about themselves. They're going to do better. I was running out of ways to get my medication because I didn't have a prescription for it. But I, sometimes, you know, if you write to these places, they'll send you some anyway. And I was borrowing some from my mom, but you know, after I got here and I started getting my own prescription. And it's just, it's just been a good place. It really is a good place. It was very much needed in Bullock County. I'm glad to see it here. Thank you. That's all I say. It's just thank you for your time. Thank you for helping me. Those new patients that come in, they love it. They love the being seen, you know, us taking the time out to actually help them when they need. So we're giving them all the hope in the world. You know, it makes me feel good to help people that are really in need of basic primary care. And there's a lot of people in this world that don't have that basic primary care. And I just think it's a really big help in Bullock County and the people of Bullock County. I feel a lot more comfortable um, and confident, you know, and being able to come someplace and, and have a doctor, a real doctor, you know, look at me and, you know, and then you walk out of here feeling like, okay, now, you know, I can, I can continue on. I can do what I got to do. You know, there's not this big question mark hanging over my head about my health. Like I said, just being able to come here and know that, you know, there is care out there for those of us who have kind of, you know, fallen between the cracks. Um, for whatever reason, you know, um, it definitely gives you hope. One of the things that working here at the clinic has really continued to emphasize for me is uh, the absolute need that exists for us to all take care of each other. Just to give them hope. I mean, we try to help them any way possible and sometimes you just need someone to talk to and I love going there every day and it's just amazing. The Hearts and Hands Clinic has developed a team of more than 30 local medical professionals, treated over 500 patients, helping them gain access to thousands of prescriptions, helped hundreds of Bullock County residents get eyeglasses, offered dozens of pre-med students at Georgia Southern the opportunity to gain clinical experience, and brought hope to the community. However, the increasing demand for medical services in Bullock County for those without health insurance continues to present a challenge. Lengthy waiting lists for each weekly clinic, as well as waiting lists for new patients, have become a reality. By raising awareness, the Hearts and Hands Clinic hopes to foster new relationships with local students and professionals who will join in our mission of taking our hearts and using our hands to give hope. 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 Give hope.